Hey guys, I'm the Noble 117 and welcome to a review of the Lego DC Comics Super Heroes Green Lantern vs. Sinestro set from the Justice League DC Comics side of the DC Marvel or DC Comic Superhero sets. On the front of the package, you see that it's Lego, DC Comics Superheroes, Justice League, DC Comics. The three characters you get, Sinestro, Green Lantern, Space Suit, or Space Batman, talks about the new Super Jumper. Up here you get your little DC superheroes image of Batman, Green Lantern, Flash, Superman, and Wonder Woman. You see the contents of said set. It's for ages 6 to 12, well 6 and up. It is set 76025, Green Lantern vs. Sinestro. 174 pieces. It's a building toy. On the top of the box, it tells you that the components were made in Denmark, Hungary, Mexico, and the Czech Republic. Again, it tells you the product number, tells you, shows you the actual size of the minifigures. On this side, it tells you about the Super Jumper and the Lego Club. On this side it tells you the name of the set in uh, two other languages. On the bottom you get all your uh, rights and stuff on the bottom. On the back you got your uh, showing how they use the Super Jumper. Got your uh, image of the builds. Shows you how to use parts of from the build. Okay. And then we'll go into the contents of the box. So, because of this being based off of comic book characters, you get a little comic book for Lego DC superheroes. They got an image of the Dark Side big figure, the Gorilla Grodd big figure, Cyborg, Superman, and Batman. On the cover, the Justice League logo. One of the build sets with the, of the jet. And then the inside is just a whole bunch of images for this one because this is this build. This is the first uh, screen you'll see. And then this one's for the next set. This is still for that set on this side. This is for the Aquaman uh, set. This is for the uh, Dark Side Javelin Jet set. And that's them saying like the day is saved. And then on the back here you got your DC Lego DC Comics Superheroes checklist. Where you can check off all the different superheroes that you have. Here's uh... Let me zoom in for this. You got Hawkman, Green Arrow, Batman, The Flash, Supergirl, Cyborg, Martian Manhunter, Supergirl, Martian Manhunter, and Brainiac are part of a set that came out earlier that I don't think you can buy in stores. Aquaman, Space Batman, Scuba Robin, Green Lantern, Wonder Woman, Another Batman, Superman, Captain Cold, Brainiac, Black Manta, Sinestro, Gorilla Grodd, Darkseid. And that's basically all this is. Tells you about the whole trademark and all that. So yeah, um, I think every single comic co or set that's in that's mentioned in this set comes with that. Um, next of course is the most important well the second most important feature in this packaging, and that's the instruction manual, of course, on how to build everything. Tells you to organize it. Tells you how to build the guys. And of course, on the back, it. Well, let me go back a couple pages here. Here we go. 
It essentially has a like the pit two pages on all the contents that it comes with. You get another little blurb about the Lego Club. A little blur a little uh ad for the uh whatchamacallit, the uh Lego Batman 3 Beyond Gotham. Uh little ad for the Blu-ray movie of Justice League versus the Bizarro League, which you get the Bizarro Super or Batman with, I think. And then there's all the current sets for the uh, Lego DC superheroes. And there's an image of all the upcoming Lego movie sets that are already out. And then here's some more stuff. So, now that I've gotten through all of this, let's go over the actual build itself. So now we have our minifigures, which this is officially what you would get. Um, mine actually came with a couple extra pieces, so I can do a couple other things that I'll show off in a little bit. You get your Green Lantern figure. Let me get this into focus. There we go. You know, you got your little uh, Hal Jordan, white gloves, you know stereotypical face you got the uh star lord hair but in like a darker brown and uh, he's got his nice uh abs and green lantern symbol his green face he's also got his little like highball face like i'm the best person in the world when at flying jets he's got some back printing and because mine came with a lot of these, if you have an extra one of the like neon green studs, studs for the jet, you can put it in his hand to simulate him having the, uh, the ring on. Mine also came with an extra missile, so you could, per se, put it in his other hand and say that it's a construct he's using. Next, we'll bring in my buddy Sal Sinestro. All hail the green, all hail the Yellow Lantern Corps. So he's pink in the face. He's got his sweet Sinestro Corps uh, outfit on. My uh, only complaint is actually a complaint I have with all of these, because I because mine actually came with uh, two bodies. The pant. The printing on the pants are over way too much on the machine. But, um, he's got the, uh, Joker hair, but in black. He's got a little pencil mustache in his angry face. He's also got himself a not as angry, angry face. And he's got some back printing. And he comes with a yellow lightsaber sta stick and one of these weird saw weapons that I think they invented for Ninjago that uh, he can hold. And again, because mine came with an extra piece with doing his build, I had an extra yellow clear piece with that I can just place on his hand and now it looks like he has a ring and has his construct. And then there's the new uh, space batman which he has a awesome silver cowl that doesn't have the bottom lip part of it now um he's got essentially the scuba face but on a the scuba face printing but on a white head there's no back head printing on this sadly um he's got this wing piece and then he has this wing piece he also comes with a regular the stereotypical batman head because that will still work and i will show that off when i start to do the switch for the cape but um actually you know what just let me take this off first so i can just show off the details of said minifigure first and we'll just lay that head off and put on the new head it's it's the stereotypical Batman. It's got the uh, smug stereotype. It has the uh, 
Green Lantern smile, but smaller. And it's got the uh, stern on Batman face. We'll just put the cowl on for now. But it, it, it's got some gorgeous, like, printing on the chest. And a lot more on the back that I really like, but it gets hit up, hid, by uh, this jet booster uh, backpack thing that you make for him. Let me readjust the camera again. There we go. What it is is it's this clear angled piece. That essentially, it's a backpack piece. And it's got the two round pegs on Well, it's got two pegs on it. So when you put it on, because of it being clear, it's supposed to blend in with the thing. It doesn't really blend in with the thing, but you know. And then you get this build, which is two cone pieces onto one of these pieces that I'm not sure what it's called, but it's got the two bars on it. And these just peg in like so, and then they would just set on right like so. But that doesn't look right, because Batman needs wings for his backpack, because Batman is Batman, and Batman has bats. So, these both came on a piece of paper, like so. And you punch them out, kind of like how you would uh, punch out. It's, essentially, it's kind of like they, these were like a perf. It, they had a perforated edge, and then you like poked them out, kind of like how uh, old cereal boxes used to have like the, uh, like the cut along the dotted line type things. And then these you just put onto the in between the two uh, pegs, and then you just. Set this back on, and he's got the closed wings. Or, uh, he's got... The, uh, open wings. With the jetpack on the back. Which is nice, but uh, what I like to do is I actually put both on. Because A, it hides the word Lego a lot better because you put the two sides that say Lego against each other and then you put it on. But it also gives the... Why is that not... I don't think these. this is for some reason not going on all the way, but I'll get it. Okay, I think that's good. But, um, when you have it, backpack came off. When you have it like this, it, it gives it a almost, like, it has the wings, and they should be able to extend out longer. Like, it looks more like something he could use, because it's got, like, the little, like, tail fins almost plus the outer wing, so it's kind of like he can guide it better, if that makes any sense in real life. And essentially you can do that. And, of course, we'll just switch the head back again, because as you saw, I got a another uh, Sinestro body with this set. We'll just set Space Batman back there. So we'll take the Sinestro body and we'll take an, another Batman cape. Actually, it's a Robin cape, but I don't display my Lego Robins. I just use their masks for other things. So you put the cape on the Sinestro core body. You place on the uh, other Batman head. And my set also came with a extra... Batman cowl thing. So you can put that on there and now you got yourself basically a 
what if Sinestro Corps Batman? This would probably look better if you had the black cowl though. But at the moment with the silver cowl it looks pretty pretty decent. As for other accessories and at the moment there's the jumper piece. There's a little mini build of a lantern which is amazing. And then there's, of course, the other two items, which I will bring into frame with this and this being used. So let's just uh, take that off of him, take that off of him, take that off of him, put him onto the jumper. By the way, these jumpers are horrible. Like, in, in retrospect, these things are, like, one of the worst ideas ever. You gotta, like, put them on just right, and then it, like, stays in there, like, permanent, almost. And then we'll just move Batman over, and I will get everything else set up. Okay, I will see you then. So, now that we have the two builds in our way, we'll move this one out of the way, because it is smaller, and does not have a metric ton of features. Well, we'll also move that over, because that more or less has a feature with the other item. So in here we have our little lantern jet, our little construct jet that the Green Lantern will pilot. It's got an openable cockpit. It's got a, a movable uh, back wing things. That's mostly so you can get them angled like so. So it's for it to look more like a jet, but you know, you can always make it, like, turn into, like, a spoiler, in a sense, like, on a car or something, if you're bored. And, let's, uh, let's not put him in there just yet. I will, I'll show off some features. Here we got the uh, new stud launcher pieces, which are essentially new ways to make the Lego guns. Because a cyborg comes with one. And essentially it's uh, point and press, so you just point and push it down and it fires and it goes all over the place and kids are totally not going to choke on that, no way, no how. Oh, let's just get those off of those because child endangerment is bad. And we'll just set those up there for right now. Because of course I cannot fit them in there because that, that actually I might be able to. If I can, that would be... I cannot. Aw. That would have been s sweet, having those, like, right back there so it looked like he's actually thrusting with green energy. But, um, the only other thing it has that I can, sh like, gimmick-wise that I can show you besides the lantern being able to fit in it is actually I have to take this apart right here. See these green bars? These are rockets, like I showed you. Those are the missiles. And this right here that you see moving is controlled by back here. So instead of this having it, those be flick missiles and having like a huge thingy down here to flick them, you just point, turn, which... Come on. Come on. There it is. I don't know why that one's not firing. There it is. And yeah, so uh, this piece here is rubber, so it can press, so it's not just gonna press down from you just playing with it. It's gonna, like, not, unless you actually make it fire by actually turning the turning knob and then of course this piece just goes right back on there and it hides basically everything and then of course I'll get these out of the way because I don't display this with any of the weapons on it because child endangerment is bad courtesy of the noble 117 child endangerment is bad do not buy toys that shoot things 
I, I, I'm joking. Just buy your buy your kids whatever you want. Uh, I do recommend this because I love Green Lantern and Sinestro, but mostly Sinestro. But I was really glad we got both of them in one set. So I'm sorry you're seeing an image of my arm there for the entirety of that. So we'll just pluck. See? See how hard this is? I'm trying to pull straight off of this. And it's not working. These are really bad ideas. Like, I get what they're going for with this, but that's... I, I'm worrying myself about breaking these things. That's worse than Kyoryu Red's figure art wrists. And now we got our uh, Green Lantern in his flight jet thingy, giving his little smile. Let me just lift this up because that glare is going to kill it, but you know, he can fit in there nice. Any minifigure that has a regular sized head and regular hands and regular feet can fit in here. Um, Lego Woody, like from the Toy Story sets, won't because his legs are too long and he won't be able to fit because his legs are three block long, not two. But like, you can fit Green Lantern in there, you can fit any minifigure in there, you can fit... At the moment, he's headless, but you can fit Lego Noble 117 in there if you needed to. I don't know why you would fit Lego Noble 117 in there, but you could. Anyway, so I'll just close that up and just set that right there. And I'll put you back in there. Well, no, I'll leave you out because you're actually part of the next item. Let me move this over here. And now we have the... Sinestro core thingy thingy. Oh. And the lantern. The lantern here. Which I will show you how this is built. Out of all these, this is the only thing I will show you how it's built unless I do a rebuilding this video, which I will not be doing because this is. Ugh. So you get the. Uh, You will get uh, three of these green things. I Mine came with four, which is why I do the green lantern hand thingy thingy. Three of these green studs. So three green studs. A uh, Lego round pistol type thing with the hole in it. Two transclarent green... Uh, one by or two by two radar dishes and two dark green two by two radar dishes and you just put in a one by one five stud block and you just put a stud in the bottom and one on both and one on two sides of which are opposite of each other and then you put your transclarent green pieces on the other studs, like so. You then place it on top of one. You then put this one upside down, stick the gun through it, like so. So it will peg into the black piece, making it a lantern. Sadly, these are sadly this is not in scale. He is this lantern is about this lantern comes up to about his shoulder in its entirety. These are not in scale, people. A real lantern comparison, he could hold it like this and it would not even touch the ground. But this is he can stand. And this would be like three feet, or at least two feet in the ground. But anyways. So, we'll just leave him off to the side. And then you, you got this little, like, Sinestro construct build thing. Which, you're doing some parts of this off screen. It allows you, because of the pedestal built inside, to house the lantern like it shows in the comics. And, oh no... 
Green Lantern's power battery is caught. Whatever will we do? Oh no! Batman, help me! I can't do anything now because we're not Batman. And then this is where your jumper piece comes in handy. You just do that, essentially. Hold on, let, let, let me essentially show you what that's supposed to be. It's, you're pulling, pushing this down and just sliding your finger off, which in doing so flings this up. And if I can get this to go right. Nope, that was too high, but that was a good shot. Nope, that was over to the side. Essentially, that's what you're supposed to do. It's supposed to knock that back and then this opens. So you have that. And then, you know, the lantern's free, Green Lantern can do what he wants. But in an alternative route, you can take this piece out. It's a 4x4 four four plate and a 2x1 two to a 2x2 two two ramp up piece, I guess. I don't, I don't, I'm not Lego terminology guy here. And then you just stick that, and then you can just stick a minifigure in here. And now, Green Lantern is caught by Sinestra. And Batman has to save him because heroes can't do stuff by their, on their own. Yay, he's free. And that is uh, pretty much all that this does. You can fit minifigures in here, knock them down with the jumpers. And I totally just took a piece out of this. I did not notice that. That piece is not supposed to come off when you put a, take a figure out. But I mean, this is a nice little build. I kind of wish they didn't use as many black pieces in both of these because... Technically, you're not allowed to do that in Lantern Ring Power Culture, whatever. But it's a toy. What are we going to do? But, um, yeah. I, I will say I enjoy this thoroughly. Being, of course, a Green Lantern and Sinestro fan. If you do not know, I actually have two Sinestro Core Rings. Yes, I have two. Deal with it. Actually, now that I think about it, if you put Sinestro up there, take this piece out. Um, I'll just peg him into the front one. No need to deal with putting him on the back one. And then do this. It'll now look like, well, Sinestro is just like guarding him and all that so which that does give it an extra top heavy thing so when you do that now it will knock over but what I would do is I would not put him in try not to stick him in all the way or at least try to just like set him on it just a little or you know get a 2 by 2 plate and set him up there and then when you do that was horrible. And then when you go to do that, of course it'll just knock him off this time. Stop just knocking off the one guy, Batman. Knock them both off. Knock it both off. Yes, I realize I'm, I'm talking to a toy. Yeah, Green Lantern safe. Whatever. Yeah, thing doesn't want to cooperate with me now that I thought of that. But um, yeah. So that's that. And technically, if you got multiples of this set, you could, you know, use uh the uh, extra studs from these sets 
Sadly, the one I use for Sinestro, it's not a stud, but it's a square. And that bugs me, but it doesn't bug me at the same time because Sinestro is supposed to be different than Green Lantern a little, so he would use, instead of a yellow ring that's on one hand, he would use a, uh, instead of a yellow ring on, he would use a, instead of using a yellow stud, he would use a yellow square. Because, bad guy. Because bad guys have to be the complete opposite of the good guy they are being the bad guy of. Think about it, revert. Think, think about it. One of these villains that these guys fight is named Reverse I'm That Guy. Flash and Reverse Flash. I mean, that was the most un... Like, unimaginative choice for a name. It's like, I'm the Flash. And I'm Reverse Flash. Dun dun dun. Yeah, not, not the best ideas for comic books. But it beats a million people all named Iron. Or a million people all named uh, Bat. Man, woman, girl, beyond. I can't think of any others off the top of my head, but there are. There are a lot. I'm not sure if I said woman, but woman, dog, might. I, I, I'm just rambling at the moment, sorry. But, um... Yeah, that, this is basically the set. It, it's fun. I will say that. It, it's fun. It's a little thing I like to tinker around with. Whenever I'm bored, I'll just be like, Woo, Sinestro, yay. But mostly these two parts for me. If you're a Sinestro fan, that, that is the best thing ever. I, I just wish we got the uh, Lord of the Rings rings. Like they have when you get the the couple of the Lord of the Rings sets. I wish we got those in their respective colors and not just nothing. And it's just implied that they have a ring. I also wish that it. I also wish that we didn't have to pay twenty bucks to get character builds. Or I, I like I had this. Yeah, this is a $20 set. That's letting you know that now. And you don't get the option of the extra lantern rings unless you get an extra one of these or you just don't put the weapons on this. You don't get the Sinestro Batman core of justice thing. That's just if, if when they made yours, you got that extra piece. So... Yeah. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, if you don't already know, because you guys probably didn't notice or something, um, I have a Twitch. If I didn't already upload that video, I think I did, but I'm not sure. So you can follow me on there. Um, I'm getting a couple things in the mail soon that I'm going to be reviewing. At least one, maybe the other two. Or maybe the other thing. The other thing is more or less for another item I'm going to be doing videos for. Um, you know what? I should just put this. Yeah, I, 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 I'm. Those of you who watch all of my videos will notice the background has changed a lot. Before it was white paper. Then it, before it was white paper and a wood table. Then it was cardboard with a weird green bottom and background pieces made out of other box backgrounds. Now it's cardboard on cardboard. Well, uh... This used to be reversed. This used to be the bottom and this used to be the top. But then I remember, but then I thought I'll just reverse it because... All of that was really messing with that 
lantern colored sheet thingy I had on the bottom. Which, by the way, if you, which I'm not sure if you guys know this, but I'm actually using that now as a background for uh, my displays. Because it's big, it's made out of cardboard, and it's curved on the bottom, so if anything falls in between the item it's on and that, it won't fall into the abyss of nothingness. It'll just fall in there, and I can just be like, okay, there it is. But, um, yeah, so let's just try to get all of the things in frame real fast. Because it's vinyl views. Like, when I saw this was announced, I didn't care how much it cost. I was purchasing this item for these two minifigures. Because I love these guys. Um, I will say, uh, one of the images in here shows you using the jumper piece on here. Which, I mean, makes sense in a way. Like, he's jumping off of the bat jet, or the lantern jet thing. But... I don't, I don't even use the jumper piece. I'm actually gonna take it off right now because from what I've heard and seen, these things will damage your minifigures. They will just like crack all of this really badly. But if, but of course kids don't mind cause they don't care. Cause if it's cracked on the back, oh well, their feet are squares. They can peg on the things. But anyways, um, yeah, this is pretty much it. Thanks for watching. I'm the Noble One One Seven. You, if you're watching this, you already know all of the stuff. If you're watching this and you don't know all of the stuff, you can watch watch another one of my older videos. Probably my one about contacting me would be the best. Cause that one is legitimately made for contacting me. Um, you can leave a comment. I found this at a Walmart, but you can probably find it at a Target and a Toys R Us. Um, or, of course, on the LEGO website. Anyway, I'm the Noble 117. Thanks for watching. Come on.